A warm welcome to Biology E7 Tutorials. I am Kiran Mai. And uh, before going into the session, just uh, let us think of certain questions which are occurring in our life. Right? So generally, we require energy to move our body. We require energy to perform our daily life processes such as digestion or respiration or exchange of or we can say that uh, uh, moment or we are having even reproduction. To perform all different life processes, we require energy. But have you ever wondered how we are obtaining this energy or how we are going to obtain or how we are getting this energy? So today in this topic, you are going to learn about how we are going to obtain this energy with the topic called as respiration. So today we are going to discuss very interesting topic. About respiration. So one should know what is respiration. When we are talking about respiration, respiration is the process by which the respiratory substrate or the respiratory fuel, we, we can say, which gets broken down to release energy. It is called as respiration. Once again, I am telling, your respiration is a process by which the respiratory substrate or we can say the respiratory fuel is broken down to obtain energy, to get energy. Where we will be utilizing that energy to perform our daily life activities. When we do talk about this respiration, this respiration occurs in two parts. Generally, when we are talking about this respiration, it occurs into two parts. The first part is breathing, which includes the exchange of gases. The next one is cellular respiration. Right? Now, let us go more in detail about this cellular respiration. When we are talking about cellular respiration, we are having two types of respiration. In respiration, we are having two parts or two types out of which the first one is, when we are talking about the first one, it is our aerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, generally, the respiratory substrate, the respiratory substrate, which is our glucose, our glucose, it gets broken down into carbon dioxide, water and energy. Anyhow, it is not a balanced reaction. We are discussing only about the process of aerobic respiration, how it takes place. So in this process of aerobic respiration, generally it occurs in a series of steps by utilizing the oxygen. This glucose, it undergoes various steps, which includes the first one is glycolysis, glycolysis. This process of glycolysis is total. We can see it occurs in a series of total 10 steps. It occurs in a series of 10 steps and this glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm. Cytoplasm of cell. Generally, it takes place in cytoplasm of the cell. Coming to the next, we are having Krebs cycle, Krebs cycle and it occurs in mitochondria of the cell. It occurs in mitochondria of the cell. The next one is, the next one, the next step is 
electron transport chain electron transport chain which occurs in inner membrane inner membrane of mitochondria the next one the last step if you see it is related to oxidation process so we call it as we call it as oxidative phosphorylation we'll be discussing about in detail about each step so we are having oxy dative oxidative phosphorylation which occurs in f0 and f1 particles particles and in this entire process of aerobic respiration total total 38 atps are released 38 atps are released out of which two are utilized back out of which two are utilized back so the product end the end product will be total 36 atps total 36 atps so if you see here at the end of aerobic respiration with the help of these processes with the help of these steps total 36 atps are formed similarly here let us discuss even about one more respiration that is anaerobic respiration when we are talking about when we are by talking about aerobic respiration this aerobic respiration occurred in the presence of oxygen whereas anaerobic respiration it occurs in the absence of oxygen it occurs in the absence of oxygen whereas here also the common step will be the glucose which is a six carbon compound which is a six carbon compound this glucose it gets broken down in cytoplasm and it forms two molecules of pyruvic acid it forms two molecules of pyruvic acid even though it contains two molecules each molecule of pyruvic acid contain three carbon it contains three carbon now based on this aerobic anaerobic respiration again based on the organisms it is being categorized for example the same pyruvic acid if it is in yeast if it is in yeast the same pyruvic acid if the further process is break, broken down in the yeast then the end product will be ethanol which is an alcohol c2h5oh where carbon dioxide is released out right similarly if the same uh, pyruvic acid if it is in case of muscle cells in case of muscle cells then it leads to the formation of lactic acid it leads to the formation of lactic acid so when we are talking about anaerobic respiration generally two atps are formed it can be your ethanol or your lactic acid near lactic acid generally two atp molecules are formed so let us go more in detail let us uh, follow this summary again respiration when we are talking about respiration respiration is a process or we can say it is a process where breaking down of your respiratory substrate or the respiratory fuels are broken down to release energy and when we are talking about respiration it occurs in two parts one is breathing and the other one is cellular respiration in cellular respiration we are having different types in which one we are having aerobic respiration 
in aerobic respiration the glucose is broken down to carbon dioxide water and energy in which it includes a series of steps which occurs in respective stages for example we are having which starts with glycolysis glyco is the glucose and the lysis is um, splitting of the glucose so here whenever the glycolysis takes place usually it occurs in cytoplasm of the cell and totally it is 10 step cell 10 step process coming to the next we are having krebs cycle this krebs cycle occurs in mitochondria then we are having electron transport which occurs in inner membrane of mitochondria and the last one is oxidative phosphorylation which occurs in f1 f0 and f0 and f1 particles that is those are called also also called as oxisomes when we are talking about Uh, anaerobic respiration here the oxygen is absent so the same process if you see here the glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate containing three carbon compounds based on the organism if it is in the case of yeast if it is in the case of yeast alcohol is formed and uh, with the help of and it releases a by product that is carbon dioxide which we can see uh, in uh, uh, generally in uh, Uh, food items like such as uh, bakery items uh, we can uh, find this process which we call it as fermentation where we'll be discussing about this particular topic in our next session then coming to our next is our muscle cells uh, accumulation of when pyruvic acid is further broken down in the absence of oxygen or very less amount of oxygen lactic acid is formed so accumulation of lactic acid it causes muscular fatigue we call it as muscular cramps or generally it leads to muscular fatigue so this is all about our uh, respiration this is a small uh, summary about uh, respiration in the next video let us discuss about uh, glycolysis